there are three main account types in FreeBSD. There are system accounts, user accounts, and super user account, otherwise known as root. System accounts are given to background services that the user doesn't interact with directly. They're not given root access and they are locked within their own little privilege domain. User accounts are given to ordinary users of the system, those without root access or privilege. And they mainly consist of user ID, group ID, password, username, user shell, and user's full name, and login class, and are given a home directory in which to store all their files and localize settings. And then the super user account is also known as a root account. Now this is the account which can administer the system, delete or add users, and general maintenance. It's a very powerful account and it's not recommended that you do day-to-day -day tasks using this account. And you must certainly never ever access the internet using this account. There are plenty of commands in FreeBSD to manage user accounts. And here we're going to list the five most commonly used ones. If you type man and then the name of the command that you wish to know more about in the console, you'll get more detailed summary of what each command does. Add user, as it probably gives away in its title, adds a new user using the command line. RM user will remove any user that you put in. CH pass will change the user database information so if there's anything that you want to update like the information regarding the user name telephone number contacts etc that's the one that you use it for passwd is obviously change the user password now passwd can be used by the user themselves or by the super user the root to change anyone else's password and pw is a godlike command um, that can add, remove, modify, list groups, add groups, remove groups. It pretty much can do everything in just one command. PW command can create, delete, modify and show users and groups. An example of adding a group is your PW group add team 2. That actually creates the group named team 2. And the PW group show team 2 will show the group name and the group ID. And that call on after the 1100 shows that there are no actual members of the group. If you want to add members to the group, you can use PW, like in this example below. If you want to add members to the group, you need to add PW group mod team2 dash capital M and the username you wish, and then PW group show team2 will then show the group name, the group ID, and the members in that group. 